Jim Rogers, chairman of Rogers Holdings and, of course, the author of the book, A Gift to My Children. Uh, Jim, this uh, lending figure that is being flagged by the Chinese media, a trillion yuan, that's up from 700 billion yuan. Is this simply a case that the message from the Chinese leadership is not getting trickled down to the banks in China, or is this going to expedite the tightening speed over there? Well, Chloe, that's part of it, but you also have to remove the gigantic amounts of money which have been created in China in the last couple of years to fight the, the slowdown, and it's all trapped in China because of exchange control. So, uh, yes, the, the, the authorities in Beijing want to slow things down. They've raised reserve requirements twice. They've raised interest rates once. They're trying. But with all that money sloshing around, it takes a while to slow things down, I suspect and hope that there will be more tightening coming up. More tightening, but yesterday we had some comments coming out from the PBOC Deputy Governor Zhu Min saying interest rates, not really the way to go. He did flag the possibility of a floating system, but they, but the Chinese leaders have made it clear that they don't want a renminbi appreciation. So are they going to keep on tweaking the triple R and the banks will need to continue to raise funds? I would suspect that what they will do is raise reserve requirements. They seem to like that more in China for some reason. Remember, every time they raise interest rates, it attracts more hot money mm. because people expect the renminbi to go higher over the years, as do I, because we do know that China's got a reasonably sound economy. Jim, what, you, you mentioned there the renminbi and you expect it to go higher. Where do you stand on the uh, revaluation story? If you were the U.S. administration, would you label China a currency manipulator? If I were the U.S. administration, I would resign, first of all, <laughs> <laughs> because we're so incompetent we've ruined things. Second of all, I would leave the Chinese alone. Slapping people in the face, Anna, in public is not a good way to get things done. Then the other side has to save face and they have to do something. Please, the Chinese know they have to have a, a higher a, a floating currency. They know they have to let things change. But slapping them in the face is not, not the way to do it if, if I were doing it. Yeah, um, uh, many people are suggesting that uh, the Chinese will revalue their currency, but entirely for their own reasons. Jim, how would, how would you suggest investors position themselves for that taking place? Well, I expect the renminbi to go higher. It's not so easy to buy the renminbi. It's not a flow. It's not a freely tradable currency. As you know, it can be done. There are ways to do it legally. Uh, I would suggest people, if they can, figure out a way to buy the renminbi legally to, to do so, because I expect the, the renminbi to double, triple, quadruple over the next few decades, just as the Japanese yen. You know, the Japanese yen went up 400 percent over a few decades against the dollar. The renminbi will, too. Uh, yesterday, zoom in once again, saying China should and could move towards a more managed floating currency regime. What's that going to mean for you? Well, should and could. As far as I'm concerned, they should let it float. It shouldn't be managed at all. They I could, mean, could, is it completely possible that they could free float the currency? Is that something that well, that's could That's what happen? I would do. I would This afternoon, I would call up and say, okay, now the currency floats, and the market will set the record. Then you don't have to worry about the, any other governments hitting you over the head. The mm. market will determine. That's what they should do, if you ask me. Are they going to do it? No. I assure you they're not going to do it. Not this afternoon.